Okay, before we get into this video, I want you to do one thing for me. And you can write this down in the comments if it makes it easier for you. Write down what you think is the best combination, the best affinity in class combination for a tank, for a carry, and for a support alluvial. I'm going to show you this calculator I made, and then we'll get into the results at the end, and then you can see how well you did. And if you agree with me or disagree with me, and I'd also like to see that down in the comments. So this is the calculator I made. You can see you, you can put in your class here, your affinity here, and you get a breakdown of whether this is a good tank, a good carry, or a good support alluvial. So how I'm defining tank, carry, and support, a tank is going to be the alluvials you want to take the most damage in battle. The carry is going to be the alluvials you want to give the most damage in battle. And the support are the alluvials used to enhance the tank or carry's abilities. So again, tank is going to take the damage. Carry is going to give the damage. Support, ideally, you're not taking too much damage, but you're helping out your other alluvials. Now, the other numbers I have here are how I ranked each class in affinity. Now, the description here is you know, what I got from the official website. So I would like to see in the comments if you agree with these rankings. But basically, if you look at tank, I have Bulwark being the best tank, followed by Empath, Fighter, Scion, and Rogue. For carry, I have Fighter, Scion, Rogue, Bulwark, Empath. And for support, I have Empath, Bulwark, Rogue, Scion, and Fighter. For the affinities, as a tank, I have Earth being the best affinity for a tank, followed by Nature, Water, Air, and Fire. For a carry, I have Fire being the best, Air being the second best, Water being next, followed by Nature, and Earth. For support, Nature is going to be the top ranked affinity, followed by Water, Earth, Fire, and Air. And again, you can see the, the descriptions on the right, so let me know if, if you think that I screwed up these rankings. Then I have this Weighted for Hyper. And these are numbers I just came up with myself. It's hard to really put a good number on it, but the way I set up this calculator is I can change these numbers whenever I want. But how I rank these are according to my affinity chart that I originally made, which is this one. So you can see the Granite Tempest, Verdant, Inferno, and Tsunami have a range of 16. And that is because on this chart, you can see this is that, that section and they can go from a plus eight to a minus eight. So that's where I get the 16. For this group, I can go plus six to minus six, so that's the 12. Down here, I have the plus two to minus two, so that's four, and then eight. So that's how I get these. And for how I chose these numbers, the bloom, poison, dusk, shock, and steam are gonna be the best as tanks because they're gonna be taking the most damage and they're going to be the least likely to trigger your opponent's hyper. So even though this bottom row is going to be the least likely for you to trigger hyper, the fact that you're taking a lot of damage and, and giving your opponent less of a chance to reach hyper, that's why these are going to be best for an alluvial in a tanky position. And for carry, we have basically the double base affinities, the Granite, Tempest, Verdant, Inferno, and Tsunami. The reason why this is weighted higher, there's that big range. And if you put this in a bad matchup, then your opponent's going to get hyper really quick. But ideally, with the alluvials that you're using as a carry, you're going to be putting them in the best matchup possible so that you can reach hyper quicker. And for support, I think you might not be giving a ton of damage out. Hopefully, you're not taking a ton of damage with those support alluvials. The weight for hyper is really, it doesn't really matter too much in this, this position. It actually took me a while to put all this together. And like I said, it might not be perfect, but it's something I'm working on. Do me a favor and give me a like and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. And it really motivates me to keep making more uh, videos like this, especially when it comes to this theory crafting. You know, this is, I actually, you know, I get more excited about this than the actual alluvium news. Um, so I'd like to do more stuff like this. So let's start looking at what combinations might be good for a tank or a carry. If we look up here for a tank, Bulwark looks like it's going to be 
our best class for a tank, and Earth is going to be our best affinity for a tank. A double bulwark is Colossus, and a double Earth is Granite. Now you can see for a tank, it showed up as green. It's a higher number, so it's going to be a good tank. Not so good carry. Probably be an okay support alluvial. You might think that this is the best tank out there, but really, if we look at the weight for the Hyper, Granite has a chance to be put in a poor matchup, giving your opponent a better chance of reaching Hyper. So it's actually not the best combination here. If we look at something like Bloom down here, we actually bring up a better number for a tank. So according to my numbers and what I'm speculating here, a Colossus in Bloom Alluvial would be the best possible tank for you. Now there are over 400 combinations, so there's a very good chance that there's not an Alluvial that is Colossus or Bloom. When we do get a better idea of the total amount of Alluvials and you know fill out that Alluvidex, we can start looking through each individual Alluvial to see which is gonna be the best as a tank. And if we wanted to look at a carry, we're looking at fighter and fire being the best possible ones. What's fighter? Yep, bull, berserker, and inferno. You can see that pops up as a high number for a carry, low for a tank and support. And then getting into support, an empath. So your double empath is not encanter. Some mystic and then nature. Actually, no, we'll go verdant. And you can see that's going to bring up a good number for a support. So, like I said, all these numbers are interchangeable. So, if you think I didn't rank these, rank the classes, or rank the affinities, or weighted the hyper in a good way, let me know. I can adjust these and make another video. And we can see how that changes up the matchups. Okay, so at the beginning of this video, I told you to write down what you think are the best alluvial combination types for a tank carry and support. So right here, I have them out according to my calculations. Balloon Colossus is going to be the best for a tank. I also have the worst for a tank, which would be Inferno and Predator. For a carry, the best is Inferno and Berserker, where the worst being Granite and Mystic. Support, the best being Verdant and Mystic. The worst support being a Tempest Berserker. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I hope you liked it. It's something unique. Uh, past few days I've been working on this like crazy. Really, I just had fun doing it and I wanted to, to share it with all of you. Um, again, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.